셋, 별 Hi everyone! Here is Campbell's Hamster Channel. I hope you have a good day today. Today I'm going to feed the hamster something special, fresh, fatty, delicious. Yes, right! These are flying termites. Look how much he likes his new food. Flying termites have a lot more fat than dry maggot. Termites invade our homes both during dry seasons and rainy seasons. Unfortunately, our country Indonesia has optimal weather conditions that make it easy for termites to be active all year long. Flying termites attracted to light. We've all seen this very often in everyday life after a rain shower. We found that a group flying insect start to swarm closer to sources of light like street lamps or your home's fluorescent lights. After a couple of minutes, this group of flying insects have discarded their wings and start to crawl without their wings around on the floor for an unspecified time before they eventually die. While it's not easy to spot if you have termites at home, flying termites are one of the clearest signs of a termite problem and they could mean trouble to you and your home. When winged termites emerge from the nest to take flight, all of a sudden, you are presented with a very obvious, and not at all subtle, sign of termites. Flying termites attracted to light. We've all seen this very often in everyday life after a rain shower. We found that a group flying insects start to swarm closer to sources of light like street lamps or your home's fluorescent lights. After a couple of minutes, this group of flying insects have discarded their wings and start to crawl without their wings around on the floor for an unspecified time before they eventually die. Flying termites differ in appearance from other flying insects and can be identified by examining them closely. Flying termites appear in a range of colors depending on the species. Generally, flying termites appear in the same beige or tan color as the other termite casts. They have two antennae which are often straight with a slight curve and have two sets of wings which are equal in length and white and translucent in color with a veiny appearance. Termites, in general, can be defined by their body shape. Both flying termites and wingless termites have a thick body made up of one part. Termites do not have a constriction between their thorax and abdomen like ants do. Many people often have mistaken distinguish the difference between flying ants and termites because both insects look very similar in regard to shape size and color. The life cycle of the termite begins with a mating flight, wherein swarming winged reproductive males and females leave established colonies and procreate. After fertilization, winged termites land and shed their wings, going on to form new colonies. These insects then become the king or queen termites of their newly established colonies. The queen and king termites are at the center of the termite life cycle and are responsible for reproduction. After the fertilized queen lays her eggs, they hatch into pale white larvae. Eggs hatch into larvae and molt to develop into workers, soldiers, and primary or secondary reproductives. A nymph is a young termite that is going through molts, a process of shedding its exoskeleton to become a reproductive. First, a termite develops a soft exoskeleton under its current hard exoskeleton. Then, once the termite has reached maturity, its outermost skeleton splits open and the new exoskeleton enlarges and hardens. This molding process continues throughout a termite's life cycle based on the colony's needs. Over the course of several molts, these larvae grow to assume a role in one of the three termite colony castes, workers, soldiers, 
and reproductive termites, also known as alates. Each caste has a distinctly different physical appearance. Workers are responsible for constructing tunnels and chambers as well as feeding and grooming other termite castes. Soldier termites are yellow-brown in color, with dramatically enlarged heads and often large mandibles. These are useful in combat, but render warriors incapable of feeding themselves. The reproductive alates are darker in color and are born with two pairs of wings. That's all related to flying termites for hamster food. I hope this info is useful for those of you who need it. Don't forget to subscribe to Campbell's Hamster Channel. See you in the next video.